What's going on guys? This is EK1 Gaming here and today I have a simple question at the beginning of this video. Do you like to download music from YouTube? Do you download videos from YouTube? Do you want to know how to capture footage like behind or like you can see on this video right now? Do you want the simplest program with a lot of money off? Then follow the video. Keep watching this video. We're going to show you exactly what we use to capture the video footage, to kind of do some minor edits, not full edits, and also to download our music and stuff like that from YouTube. So before we get into that video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe button, and the little notification bell. And don't forget to join our community over on Discord. The link will be in the description below. So first off to get this software you're going to want to go to videoproc.com or use the link in the description below where you will actually save some money if you get the full software. So if you use a link below you're going to get around 60% off which is absolutely incredible um, and basically just download the software. So once you have downloaded Videoproc you're going to see how easy and simple the design of the user interface is and that's really something that I look for when I'm using editing or any kind of video um, software it's because I don't want the complicated stuff I don't want the Adobe Premiere Pro with a million options which I don't even understand what half of them are because if you know me you know I'm a very simple video editor I am not the best at video editing or even the best at this whole technology computer stuff so for me it's pretty simple easy to use now I'm going to go through some of these options with you today the one that we're not going to go through is DVD is because I don't use the DVD section however if you would like me to to do a video on DVDs then make sure you put it in the comment section below and we'll take a look to see what we can do for you guys to show you the DVD section of this working. Now of course you have the four tabs here, as simple as that. There's only four buttons and a settings cog up the top. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go into your settings. Now when you first installed the program it would have done like a hardware acceleration, it would have checked what software you've got and um, what hardware you've got and then put it all together and told you what the best choice was. Now there's a couple of things I still change in the settings. Now of course this is personal preference. You can do whatever you like in terms of these settings. So open the output folder when the job is complete. I like to open it and view it when it's completed. Shut down your computer. I don't want it to shut down my computer after it's done. And then notify you when a uh, new version is available. Of course, I want to know when I can update. I changed the location of the video folders, where they're all going to go to, which is really easy to do. And then DVD-wise, again, we're not going to go into that today. The downloader, I've chose where the download folders change to. I've set it to MP4. I believe that was the default anyway. And then I've changed resolution to the highest resolution. Now, that will just kind of pick up you know, if it's 4K, it's going to download it in 4K. If it's 1080, it will download it in 1080. That's just simple. Just leave it as the highest resolution unless you want it to be downgraded to a different resolution. So then what I'm going to go down to do is in the recorder section is I put recording quality on high. Now, this is standard as standard, if that makes any sense. But so basically the stock one is standard. I've changed that to high. I've put the MP4. If you want it as a different file type, you can pick any of these, but I've chosen MP4. The audio device, simple, just leave it as default unless you want to change it. So if you want to change it to like your, your external sound card like I have here, the Sennheiser VSX1200 Pro. If you want that, use that. If not, just put it as default and that's going to pick up whatever default mic and sound you use because the mic is right here below. Again, you can just choose which one you want. If you're using a voice mod as well, you can also put that on here as well. Now, the encoder. It will come basic with Software X264. I always choose NVENC. I don't know if that's just habit of mine. I don't know if that's the right thing to choose. So, please research whether you should choose that. I'm pretty sure that NVENC is the one you should be using. However, they do have a CPU acceleration um, software in here so if you want to use your CPU you can kind of use x264 with the low CPU with increased file size but it does come standard with just the standard x264 so click the hardware NVENC that's what I've done camera device you can pick whatever camera device you want to use if you're not using a camera don't worry about these settings it doesn't matter you don't have to use a webcam with this so I've got the cam link 4k which is my Canon M200 camera and then I also have a HD Pro C920 Logitech webcam. 
So I'll leave that on the 4K because that is my primary camera for videos, even though we're not going to be using the camera much on this software. Now you can press a button to stop the recording. Now to start the recording, you simply press a record button, but to stop it, there is a button. So if you get to a certain point where you think, actually, I want to stop the screen record without having to like be seen clicking off and going different places, you can select a hotkey. And mine is just the star on the number pad. You can put that to whatever you want. It's totally up to you. Now, there's some other settings here. So show mouse in recording. Do you want people to see the mouse? Is it something where you want people to see the clicks? So if you're telling people like, oh, I'm clicking here, I'm clicking here. Do you want there to be that circle that shows a mouse click? So to show exactly what you're clicking on. It could be like a tutorial on Photoshop or something like that where you click and you just want people to know that you've clicked. You can click that on and off here. Show the key in recording. I don't have that on and show a countdown. Again, I don't have that on either. So once you've done those settings, just cross that off. That will be saved. Now let's go into the video and we're just going to quickly touch on these things. So video, basically this is where you can make minor edits to your videos. Now when I say minor edits, this is not Sony Vegas Pro. This is not Adobe Premiere Pro. This is not Power Director. This is simple, easy to do, small edits to videos, okay? It's not in depth. It's not something that you're going to do a whole video on. Um, basically, you know, edit the whole video in this one software, in my opinion. But this is amazing for adding those final touches that other software maybe might not have or just simply just to do it anyway. So if you add a video to this, so let's add, say, a Destiny 2 video. Right. So you'll see one video is loaded. You can load multiple videos. There's no limit on videos. Or you can load a folder full of videos or even music. And then what you can do on it, you can add effects. So let's click on the effects. Now the right hand side is the effects. Now with the preview play, it will jolt like this. And that's so you can capture each kind of section of it. So if you want to pause it, split seconds, you can do so. So if you want to just like kind of edit this bit or crop it right here, you can use the crop functions and stuff like that. But basically the right hand side is going to be the edit side so the preview of the edit and the left hand side will be the original so if you want to change the right to black and white which is a bad time to change it but there you go black and white if you want to negate it add some noise mirror you know you get you get the idea you can pretty much do everything lens correction yeah vignette technicolor blur it out and you can also then sort of um change the brightness and and minor settings here so if you want to do different things you know different effects you can do that here as well now once you've done that you can just simply click done on it and then go across to the next watermark so if you want to add a watermark onto the video it's really simple easy to do click enable watermark you can either have it as text so which will appear here. You can change the transparency of it. So it appears on your video. Or you can add an image. Say for example you have a logo like me. And say you want that right in the middle. But you want it like in the background like this. So someone can't steal. I don't know how you're going to want it. You're probably just going to want it in the corner. Just so people don't steal your actual content. So when that's done click done. You can then cut the video. Crop the video. Rotate it which is, is pretty cool if you want to rotate. You know, you want to have your video upside down. I don't know why you'd want to do that. But for example, you could do anything like that. You could flip it horizontal, flip it vertical, and do all that kind of cool, good stuff. So when that's done, again, click it. You can then add something called subtitles, which I don't never use, and I kind of get a bit of a backlash from not using subtitles because really I don't have time to write the subtitles out etc but you can write them out and download them and drop them in here and it will subtitle the video for you and crop is simple you know you can just crop the screen so if you want to crop something just crop it you know just enable crop you know and then crop the screen simple as that really easy to do and cut is just basically cut or or clip the video you know you're just clipping the video so if you want a short part of the video instead you can just click that and click done Really simple, easy to use, and the next bit is even better. And this is how you pick your format, your target format. So there's a popular section here. So if you want the video to format in 4K, 
you can just click this one and it will set all the settings for you for 4k mp4 iphone android mp4 again and 4k again now what you can do here is basically have a look and see which one is the hardware accelerated one which is what i use so supports hardware accelerated so use one of those okay this is going to be an mp4 file in 4k but if say for example you're looking at i don't know you want it on twitter or something like that you might want to pick a different kind of file type etc or if you want it on a different device so say for example this is an ipad uh, video you're going to do it for work and people have ipads you can click ipad here and it will optimize it for ipad android um samsung ps4 xbox you know um mi phones which i've just actually bought one of these phones which is really really cool and um all different kind of uh, functions here the music you can also pick mp3 or whatever you want it as you just just choose whatever you want it and then there's some other little things you can do you can merge all the video clips into one video so if you've got multiple it will merge them all into one for you you can trim split rotate mirror flip make gifs which is absolutely amazing so we're going to be playing around with the gifs uh, soon because i've got some cool little ideas for gifs and um, you can de shake on a gopro and denoise the, the gopro as well um, you can make it 3D to 2D, fish eye, you know, you, loads of stuff here. You guys can play around with that. But basically, that, that concludes the video. And then you just basically click run and it will run it for you. So now going into the um, downloader. Now, the downloader to me is one of the most used things that I, that I do or the, one of the most things that I use the most. It's simple. You basically find... So click, say I want some music, so add music. You basically find it on YouTube, so a YouTube link like this one. Click analyze. It will analyze the link for you to find what quality of this you can get. So I just picked a free copyright safe music. And this is perfect for content creators or somebody that's looking at getting some music that they can use. That's not just the basic YouTube library. Go on YouTube, search for content, uh, which is copyright free, safe music. And then basically download the mp3 file so you can choose here if you want the bit rate 128 you can you know mp3 so i always go for mp3 i don't know what you guys want to go for but i always pick mp3 but there's all different kind of options when you picked it just simply click download selected videos now bear in mind you can download loads here you can put loads here right you can just keep analyzing different ones you can download full playlists you can search for the subtitles if you want i don't know why you want to do that but basically download selected videos then click download now and look how fast this actually does it it really there you go 1 to 99 straight away within a matter of seconds you have that music so once that there we go so you've got the music now which is here you can then double click it and it will play and the sound quality coming out of that is incredible it's literally not uh, distorted it's not like it's been recorded it's really really good so you can do that as much as you want now you can also do that with video so say for example i wanted to download the video to that so let's uh take this off click that click analyze and it's the same link i've just used for example maybe you found a you might have found one of my videos where you think actually i want to watch that later let me quickly download it onto my computer you can do that download it and then choose what quality you want it if you want a lower file size obviously go 720 if you want the actual size of the video go you know 1080 which my videos are all 1080 click it download selected videos and then click download now now this will take a little bit longer because the file sizes are quite big however look at how fast this is going this is what really stands out to me when it comes to this software is how fast i can download a video that is that video is downloaded right now so now i have a video here and with the music and it didn't lose any quality it literally is what it is it's absolutely incredible this is what i use for all of my music on my phone this is what i use to download any videos like if i'm clipping state of the games and stuff like that i'll clip some from using this from the downloader it's really simple easy to use and you know the, 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 i don't even know what else you could you could have instead of this program to do that there is like youtube downloaders but i find them to be very complicated some of them you get a limit on the amount of downloads here is all unlimited as well
Now the video recorder. This is the one. So video recorder is going to be like your screen capture kind of recording videos, recording footage, etc. Now you can do this with your screen, which will be the screen here. So let's cross off that. So you'll see the screen that we've got up here. Now if you've got multiple monitors like me, you're, I've got three monitors. So monitor two is over to the right, monitor three to my left. Obviously they have nothing on them, but this is my main monitor. So if I wanted to record this, if I had a game open, etc., or you could drag this over to another monitor. Um, you could drag it to the second monitor and record the first monitor. So this is not in the way, etc. You can also do it with webcam and you can do it with screen and webcam where it will put you in the actual video as well, which is good if you want to do some like um, commentary where you're actually visible on the video. Now for me, I'll select number one, for example, Go ahead and choose where you want your folder or where you want your videos to be saved to. That's really important. So make sure you can find the videos after you've done them. I keep all mine in one place, even if I record them on different software like GeForce Experience or something like that. I'll always have them going into the same folder in the same, you know, for the same games, basically. So if I know I'm recording Destiny, I'll put that as Destiny. So it goes into a Destiny folder and then I can keep track of what I've got. And it's really simple, easy to do. Pick your default or you pick your sound settings or whatever you want to do. Again, they're already uh, selected when we did the settings earlier as default. If you selected something else earlier, just make sure that they are selected. They will be, but just make sure double check. The last thing you want to do is record a whole video with no sound. So you can also crop the image right here before you do it or crop the screen, should I say, here, which is simple, easy to do. So you can just press escape when you've cropped. If you just want to record a, a small section of the um, of the screen, you can literally just say, I want to record this, okay? And then it will just kind of record that section once you do it. Now, to just, just record is simple. Just press record, okay? And I also set the hotkey, which we mentioned earlier, which is the star to stop the recording. So it's really easy, simple to do. Make sure if you are interested in downloading this software, use that link below. That's not a link where I get any kind of money or anything like that from, but you're going to save 60% off the software if you get the full software. So go ahead, give it a try. Make sure you let me know in the comment section below what you think of the software, even if it's just for that downloader. I think this software is really a must have on most people's PCs. You know, any kind of content creators or any music enthusiasts, video enthusiasts should have this software make sure you hit the like button the subscribe button and i will see you all next time let's go